Salt cedar trees were planted in West Texas in the late 19th and early 20th centuries as ornamentals. However, this non-native plant uses a lot of water in an already dry area. And an acre of salt cedar would use approximately 200 gallons a day. And as a consequence, your stream flow ceases because the salt cedar plants are eating all the water up. The problem with salt cedar, it was imported from mainly the Middle East and there are no natural enemies on the North American continent. And as a consequence, it just went wild. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service is working with local landowners to control salt cedar. The Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQUIP, is funding chemical and biological treatments. The Natural Resource Conservation Service has been uh, instrumental in working with the ranchers out here by providing them technical assistance through the Upper Colorado Soil and Water Conservation District. As a result, area landowners say salt cedars are less thirsty and streams have more water in them. I've worked on this ranch with my kin folks since I was a little kid and, and I, I don't remember the springs like this. And then another neighbor that's about 86 years old has got some country back west of us and uh, he's seeing springs that he has never seen in his lifetime. Landowners interested in control of salt cedar or other invasive species should contact their local soil and water conservation district. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.